Joe DeVito here doing some thermal imaging talk with you real quick. The first thing I want to talk about is turning on your tick. Make sure you turn on your tick and route to the call because it could take about 30 seconds to, for it to be uh, calibrated and ready to use. And the last thing you want to do is get off the truck, turn your tick on, start doing a 360 and waiting that 30 seconds for that to kick in. Other thing we're going to talk about is that numeric temperature measurement. You see that number on the bottom right hand corner? Looking at that number, that is the surface temperature of that, an approximate surface temperature of that little square in the middle of the tick screen. All right, you can see that that's not really going to be accurate because when you use your temperature measurement bar on the side, you have temperatures over 900 degrees. Surfaces can take a lot longer to heat up than the convection waves may move through it. So always use your temperature bar on the right hand side and not your number on the bottom right hand corner. Next thing we're going to talk about is gains. We're going to get some gains on here. And look in here, now we're in high gain. High gain is looking more for objects, life, layout, stuff like that. This is where it's focusing more because there's no heat involved, right? It's easy to see. You want to find your egress. You want to find out what's in the room. But then once you come over here and you get back into low gain mode, now you get colorization. In this camera, it's over 300. In different cameras, it's over 500. That's why it's important to know your tool. Now it's, now it's focusing more on heat than it is life and layout. So it's going to make it harder to, to find that life and layout when it's focusing on heat. The last thing I want to talk about here real quick is that shuttering or nuking. You see how it comes over and the screen freezes? Basically think of it as the, the imager just kind of like resetting itself because it got dizzy and lightheaded and it's trying to refocus on what it's looking at. Again, that's Joe DeVito. A little bit of TikTok. Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed.